Anthony Cacace versus Jonathan Romero. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, um, yeah, I hope I'm pronouncing Anthony's name right this time. Kakache. I think one of you guys uh, uh, commented it in the previous video how to pronounce it. Thank you. Whoever, uh, you know who you are. Um, so, yeah, uh, Anthony versus Jonathan Romero. It's scheduled for 10 rounds in the junior lightweight division to take place this weekend, this Saturday, on the 23rd of April, April 23, 2022, live over at the Wembley Stadium in the undercard of the Tyson Fury versus Dillian White fight to be shown live on pay-per-view, ESPN pay-per-view, and uh, BT Sport box office. Um, yeah, it's uh, honestly not the best fight in the card. Uh, very last minute undercard. Uh, Kakache, don't really know much about him. Uh, just recently watched some footage of him. Um, he is coming off a win against uh, Leon Woodstock, um, winning the British belt. Uh, and, you know, he's only lost one fight, and that was against Martin Ward back in 2017. He hasn't really been that active the past few years. He took a whole year off in 2018, uh, two years off actually, 2018 and 2019. No. I'm doing my math wrong. He didn't not fight at all in 2018, fought a couple times in 2019, did not fight at all in 2020, and fought once in 2021. So he, like I said, hasn't really had the most active years, uh, but here he is fighting Jonathan Romero in the undercard of Fury versus White. Jonathan Romero, a 35-year-old fighter from Colombia, 34-1, and 19 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Um, I couldn't really find any footage of him from... Uh, you know, from after the Kiko Martinez fight. Uh, the Kiko Martinez fight was almost 10 years ago now. <laughs> that was a long, long time ago. And uh, I'm pretty sure Romero is not the same fighter since, you know, from 10 years ago. But I'm assuming he still has that same style of moving around, boxing, using his height and reach. But uh, 135 pounds, uh, he is, well, or 130 pounds actually, because he used to fight at 122. You know, 130, he's more of that average size at 130 pounds um, compared to when he was fighting at the lower weights. Um, you know, I'm assuming he, he will most likely try to box in this fight against uh, Anthony, but I think Anthony should be fine. Uh, Anthony should be able to outbox him, outpoint him, uh, even though Anthony hasn't had the most active years recently. Um, you know, he is the A-side. He's the guy that um, people will be rooting for. Um, you know, I'm sure a lot of the fans out there will be rooting for him. Uh, to win this fight uh, after all he is from the UK I know he's from Northern Ireland but you know it's still part of the UK to my understanding you know uh, so so I think the fans will, will definitely influence the judges and uh, it's just watching footage of Kakache uh, also and knowing that Romero you know he, he he's the last footage I could see of him was sent from 10 years ago um, based off that you know I think it should be a win for Anthony for sure Anthony should be able to, like I said, outwork him, outpoint him, and uh, outpunch him, and outsmart him, actually. I think at this point of Romero's career, um, he's being hired to show up and, and lose this fight. Like I said, like it's a last-minute event, last-minute undercard that was set up by uh, Frank Warren and Queensberry Promotions um, for this for this event. It's honestly not. It was, it, it was so bad because it was they announced this only like what two weeks before the fight two weeks before the fight the, they announced this event this uh, undercard um, it's insane but but yeah Kagache uh, eight rounds to two nine rounds to one going the distance going the whole ten rounds let me know your thoughts in the comments thanks for listening thanks for watching and like always have a great day all right thanks, thanks.